channel I'm Chris Goulet or otherwise known as Becca today as you can see I'm doing this split look here I'm doing one look on each eye and I'm using the she glam new chroma what's it called chromazone it's called chromazone the chromazone collection I've got the highlight and three liquid shadows and I'm using all of them on me today so yeah if you want to see how I got on getting this look here then just keep watching all right so I'm going to be testing out the she glam chromazone uh collection not all of it uh I didn't get all of it because um well I didn't really want to get the uh, palettes or the gel liners because I wasn't entirely sure what they'd be like so I just got what I was interested in because the highlight kind of looked like it might be a dupe for the Kaleidos one so I got the uh, Chromazone Lucid Highlighter and I got three of the liquid shadows uh, I got them in uh, Aquanova, Fool's Gold and Opal Essence and the highlight is called Lucid I'll show you some swatches of them now in a minute. Um, I'll just quickly show you what the packaging looks like. I really love it. I mean, these were the highlight is £5.49, which I can't remember how much the um, Kaleidos one is, but way cheaper. Um, it says it's going to be uh, pink, gold, and green, which is pretty much the same as the Kaleidos one. Um, you'll see in the swatches that they do come up different um this one swatches more pink and champagne gold whereas the um Kaleidos one comes up really goldy rather than the pink showing so that's £5.49 and the liquid shadows are uh 4.99 each so yeah they're really cheap i mean I tried doing a look with them yesterday and it didn't work out but um, I mean I got the XX Revolution ones when they launched and the XX Revolution ones are a pile of pants um, absolutely terrible I despise them these I only used Fool's Gold a little bit yesterday they are pretty damn good so I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you the swatches real quick and then I'm gonna do two looks on each eye and yeah I'll get on with it all right, so we've got the highlighter on the far left, which is Lucid. You can see some green speckles in there, pink goes into champagne pink. And then the second one in is Opal Essence, the liquid multi-chrome shadow. And I have to say, definitely one of my favorites is beautiful. And then we have Aquanova in the middle that obviously stunning blue to green to purple in some uh, uh, places and then fool's gold obviously fool's gold um, that does go to like greeny but I can't really get it in this lighting at the minute so I shall try and get a different lighting it's incredibly hard to get decent video of multi-chromes i am no expert when it comes to shooting multi-chromes my friend becky is an expert when it comes to shooting multi-chromes i do think that this highlight is meant to be a dupe of kaleidos space age prophecy so i'm going to quickly swatch that next to it to see what the difference is Okay, so Space Age Prophecy comes up way more uh, champagne-y pink and then goes into a green. They, they both are meant to have green in them, but I do think you can see it more in the Kleidos one. I don't think it's a dupe. I think like we've got the same idea, but um, the She Glam one comes off pink, whereas this one comes off really goldy with a hint of green and champagne whereas this one comes off pinky champagne with a hint of green so for the I'm going to use fool's gold on one eye and Aquanova on the other eye so for the first look I'm going to do a recreation of um, a Leanne Audrey look that she did in a masterclass last night um, if you want to 
she's really really amazing and if you want to do uh watch that then you'll have to be a member of supporters on facebook but i'm just gonna do the look um to the best of my ability because the look i tried to do yesterday was terrible so i'm gonna recreate her look because there's a competition going on as well for her supporters and yeah i'm gonna use the false gold on the lid for that look i'm actually gonna go in with carnival xl pro i'm gonna go in with the shade reckless um to start off this look this is going to be like a sunset looking kind of eye um so i'm just going to blend that out a little bit And then I'm going to go into Pink Lily from Tahiti. Yeah, I know I haven't done videos in ages. I've actually got videos that are ready to edit and go up that I've done before Halloween. So once I pull my finger out my ass and get them up, if I start talking about Halloween in them, then just like mind your business. Um, and then, yeah, in the meantime, I've been building myself a hedgehog castle so that hedgehogs can hibernate in it in the winter. But um, currently my cat is sleeping in it. I'll show you a picture on screen. Because um, she likes to get in everything. I haven't been sleeping well either because I have like really vivid dreams and it's not because of medication or anything like I just have vivid dreams all the time always have um I'm gonna go in with mango now which is an orange yeah so um for instance I had a dream the other week which is just really it's so random i can't even so i was a fish or well, i think i might have been a fish i don't know everyone else was fishes uh, i don't know if i was a fish but um i was in like a leisure center like with all these different rooms but we were underwater and uh <laughs> and basically like i was swimming about in all these different rooms and then uh I looked at these fish and they're all like just like, standing like just still in the water i look at me like and i was like and then i saw this like huge ugly looking fish that was like the size of a whale and it was all gross and basically it was like eating anything that moved so we all had to stay still until this giant fish like went to a different room and then we could swim and try and escape to a different place where the fish wasn't and anyway by the end like at the end somehow i escaped i'm like you know those like air glider things i escaped and i ended up in france but it wasn't like this timeline it was like old-fashioned victorian times and i had to like knock a guy out in the toilet and steal his clothes so that i'd fit in i don't know it was really weird i still work around for at the minute but yeah that's a little insight into my brain for some reason that is that um then i'm going to take yellow which is a yellow obviously i had another dream the other night as well where um I was in this like hotel and like in the hotel room I started going crazy like I was like I have to get out of here but I ended up 
being killed or something and then when i die your goat my ghost went into like part of the furniture like a clock or something and like you can haunt people it was really strange and then um yeah basically everyone that goes in this hotel ends up dying and like becoming a ghost and stuff and haunting people and yeah it was just it was just really weird i don't know why my brain does this thing does these things but it is what it is um Right, I'm going to go back in with all those colours again and try and make this look better. okay the camera isn't showing it but it is actually blended the camera is showing that it's very um not blended but it is like if you see that it is it is um right i think i might put this chroma highlight on my brow bone now see how this comes out very shiny i'll see if i can oh that is very pretty the camera just isn't showing it to its fullest potential all right i'm gonna chuck on a cut crease now and i'll be back all right i did black because i want to put the um liquid shadow over a black base because I just want to see what it looks like with like not a colour coming through it so I'm going to go in with Fool's Gold and I absolutely adore this packaging um yeah so I'm going to go in with Fool's Gold see to me that looks green in this mirror down here whereas on camera it looks coppery and that is exactly why I love multi-chrome. I'll try and get some footage of it in different lights so you can see, because that looks copper to you and green to me. Maybe the black base wasn't a good idea, but it's fine. It's not gonna be the last time I use it, so I can experiment. All right, I think I'm gonna use Peely's uh, paint for my waterline. Cat is snoring in my hedgehog castle. So for the other eye, I think I'm going to I'm gonna go in with the deep from Tahiti for this outer bit. And then blackberry for the inner bit. And I'm going to go in with Lagoon and I'm going to go in with Tahiti for the front bit.
And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of yellow. Right, and now I'm gonna do all those colors again. Okay, I've done the same thing, put black on my lid for the cut crease. Now I'm gonna go in with opal, no not opal, aqua nova. I mean, that's not creasing at all. That's been on for probably 10 minutes. Whereas the XX Revolutions one disappear as soon as they're on the lid. I mean, for four ninety nine, these are ridiculous. I think, as in ridiculously good. They're really opaque, which means they're going to last for ages because you don't need a lot. And they're just beautiful. I'm going to show you in better lighting what they look like because the ring light isn't good for multi-chrome. It doesn't show them show them off to all their it doesn't show them off to all their beauty. I think I prefer this side, not gonna lie. I'm not really much of a I mean it's not really sunset-y. Leanne's one looked way better. But um I'm more of a cool toned kind of gal. But whatever. Okay, it's time for the chroma highlight, so is definitely showing more pink um, in this light so I'll have to see what it comes out like in different lights but yeah at the moment it's very pink and quite glittery let's see if I can turn my ring light down you can see it on my brow bone as well it's pretty but uh, at the moment the colitis one is definitely uh, more multi-chrome I'd say all right I'm gonna finish this eye first so I'm just gonna go in with the same colors And then I'm gonna, because I wanna use all three, I'm gonna put Opal Essence in the inner corner. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. That is stunning. I can't get over how pretty that is. I need to do like an entire look using this. Because this doesn't deserve just to be a little side piece. It needs to be a main event. beautiful all right it is just lashes now so i'll be back for lip okay my hair is done got little mini space buns i'm gonna go in with my abh uh 
naked lipstick that I got in TK Maxx a while ago because obviously I don't really I could do split lips but I don't really want to so nude is a good option Yeah, so final thoughts. I was really hoping, like when I saw this, I was really hoping that the highlighter would be a dupe for Kaleidos. Not that it really matters because I have the Kaleidos one anyway, but I was really hoping I could find like a cheaper dupe, you know, just to, in case people can't get it from Kaleidos or can't afford it, like whatever. So swatch next to each other, as you saw, the Kaleidos one is way more gold and then this one comes up way more pink. Um, you can see that it goes green in different like lights and depending on like how you move but on the face it does mostly just come up as pink like face on um so bear that in mind if you want to try it out it is a little bit glittery i will say that um but i don't mind that so much like it is a beautiful brow highlight i like different colored highlights anyway so it doesn't matter to me um the liquid shadows are amazing like absolutely amazing they haven't creased whatsoever like this one's been on the longest it's been on for about probably 40 minutes by now and normally you'd know by the end of doing your makeup if it's going to crease because it will separate and you'll get like, all the creases in your eye there'll be no makeup there whereas these aren't doing that whatsoever they've dried down completely and they look amazing um, Opal Essence is beautiful, it's like a gold champagne pink shift, um, Fool's Gold is gold, uh, green to gold and in also like a coppery tone. This one is blue, slightly turquoisey into purple, so if I can, if I've got footage that looks good, I'll insert it now so you can have a look at and see the shift for what it is because the ring light just doesn't help because it's just such a bright light. You need like off lights to catch multi-chrome. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with them. I mean, they're $4.99 each and I mean, I don't know if you, any of you watched my XX Revolution one, you know when XX Revolution actually came out. Um, I went mad and I got all the multi-chrome stuff because I was like, oh my God, amazing, like, you know, high street multi-chrome, how amazing. And I don't think I've ever been more disappointed in makeup in my life. Like, I think to this day, I've never been more disappointed in something that I've bought. <laughs> Um, especially considering they're what 10 pounds I think they were 10 or 15 pounds I can't actually remember um, but yeah for how expensive they were they literally just disappeared on my eye um, I'll link the video if you want to go and have a look at it but yeah literally I'll put it on and I'd go to use a brush like I did with this and it would just disappear it there was like no product it just literally disappeared into the abyss whereas this is very opaque it's beautiful the color is just stunning um i do like the reason why i did two different looks is because one obviously i wanted to use them all and also you know you can see the different ways that you could use them with different um color schemes so yeah i just i'm really happy with it and obviously thank you leanne for actually giving me <laughs> uh inspiration to do this because I recreated this from Leanne Audrey MUA. UA. Um, but yeah, this one was just my own thing that I just literally did in five minutes. Um, yeah, my nose is running and it's annoying the crap out of me. But yeah, 
other than that yeah i'm really really happy with it um obviously like ugh, a little bit disappointed in the highlight but obviously maybe once i get different footage of it in different lights maybe you'll be able to see it but either way it's a cheap but really pretty highlight um i'm not sure if you can get something like this on the market for as cheap as it is so you know have a look but this is the first time i've tried makeup from she glam i do believe so yeah i'm very 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 impressed and yeah the liquid multi-chrome eyeshadows for 4.99 each i think is amazing they're so good probably one of the best that i've tried um i think like i love my barry m ones um the holographic eye toppers and yeah these are a different consistency but same kind of thing you know but yeah uh, i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you've got the new chroma oh my god what is it called let me know if you've got the chromosome stuff from she glam or let me know if there's anything that you think i should try from she glam because you know i'm always looking for an excuse to buy more makeup that will be good so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one okay bye